Master, I will have the first question. Um, you said once, Master, that the sun is a fifth level being. Yes. Could you further explain about it? Is it like humans in the way that it had to progress through the first, then the second levels until it reached the fifth level? Do planets evolve like this as well? Planets, yes, but the sun didn't. The sun were pure fifth level beings. We did not have to be evolved or like human beings, okay? These are the fifth level beings who, out of love for our beings on this planet and the nearby, manifest themselves as a sun, okay, to help us. They did not have to evolve. They came directly, purely from the fifth level, okay? Okay, Mr. Planets do evolve, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you, Master. Uh, You're welcome. How is the sun good or beneficial to humans and life on this planet, Master? First of all, physically speaking, without the sun, <laughs> we'd be dying, huh? Okay, or dead, or gone already. And many things cannot grow, yeah? Human cannot grow. There are no food, yes? Uh, no circulation of the, the waters, yes? Purification of the air. Etc. Etc. The sun has a lot of benefit. The sun cure many diseases. For example, in the old time, they did not have tuberculosis medicine yet. They would put the patient in a sunny room or a sunny area and open a window, and let the sun come in to cure the TB. Of course, when it's too heavy, maybe they cannot. But uh, maybe in initial stage, then they can cure like that. Okay. Also, they put the patient in the sun a lot, a lot, a lot, whenever they can, so to cure uh, tuberculosis. That's in the old days. Nowadays, they have medicine. They take maybe six months, nine months, one year, okay, two years, then it's done. The sun cure your aches and pains, yes, is to eliminate toxin, yes, through sweat. When it's hot, you sweat, and also cure some of the disease or other ailments. Um, the sun gives, uh, you know, benefit to all, okay? <laughs> Bad or good, yeah? The sun who glorify the whole world that we live. And it gives life to all beings, plants, minerals, animals, etc., yeah? Sun gives also people happiness, carefree feeling. Sun is necessary for all on earth. No sun will probably all die. You see how people are happy when they go on vacation in the sunny area? Yes. For example, the Italian people, why they are happier than other countries? Why? Huh? Because they have a lot of sun. A lot of sun. The Spanish, uh, Italian, they're just more relaxed, yeah? And they care a little less about material things than the people who have uh, less sun, okay? The sun gives them too much contentment. So they feel like they don't need much material comfort. Capish? Yeah? Yes, yes, Master. Okay. For example, like that, huh? Mm. Thank you, Master. And I myself, huh? Love the sun. I adore the sun. Yeah, I could stay in the sun all day. And if it's too hot, I just cover a little bit with the cloth. I could look at the sun midday even. It doesn't hurt me. Yeah, it doesn't hurt me. It regulates or it's, it's screened a little bit so that I, my eyes won't hurt. Yeah, the sun is a beautiful being. I love the sun forever. Yeah. I love the sun a lot, and the sun loves us forever. Remember, I told you how I feel better in a tent than in a big house? Yeah. I still do. <laughs> Why? Because more contact with the sun, yes. More shining through, yes and less uh, restriction because the tent is very small. When you sit in the tent, even if you're not outside in the sun, the sun shines through. Huh? Uh, you feel happier. I think that's why. Huh? The house is, is big and heavy, you know, the sun doesn't filter through. I still do that, you know? So I feel less restricted and more free, more breathy, you know? <laughs> Similar. I feel better in a cave than a big house because more close to the outside space, you know. And I guess that's what it is. We need protection, but house also is a restriction. Yeah? Yes, yes Master. Master. Thank you, Master. Master, the, the sun is 
home of the fifth level beings. So in the spiritual levels, we also have the fifth level. So is the sun the home of all spiritual practitioners who have reached the fifth level, Master? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Not all. Uh, I have told you sun beings came directly from the fifth level, undiluted, yeah? Yes. Unchanged, unprogressed, yeah? Okay. And uh, they volunteered to do this job as uh, sun beings. So uh, it's not like all the people who on the fifth level will fly direct to the sun and sunbathe all day long. Don't dream about that, okay? <laughs> it's not your job. If this is your job, maybe, yeah. All right? Okay, yes, ma'am. If you're fifth level and it's your job, maybe. <laughs> but I'm not sure they let you. <laughs> okay, they love their job. Hmm? Okay, mm. master. The sun is occupied. Sorry. <laughs> but there are many other suns and maybe other planets. Maybe they will accept lesser sunny people like we are. Huh? <laughs> okay. Master, as the sun is a fifth level being, is the sun's brightness or intensity the same as what we would experience on the fifth level? On the fifth level, we experience more than the sun, okay? If the sun were to have all the intensity from their beings, the beam on earth, we die, dead, dead, dead. We're so dead, we have no time for conference, okay? <laughs> the fifth level beings, as the sun, they regulate their brightness so that we can bear it, all right? If they go full gas, you and I, goodbye. Oh, <laughs> I understand. Okay. Master, some planets have two suns, so does that mean they are more spiritually advanced? And are all suns fifth level beings, Master? Yeah, yeah, all suns, fifth level beings. Uh-huh. And if we have more two sons, that means they needed more. <laughs> or they're more deserving. Okay? All right. Thank you, Master.